understanding as in the small act of affection. Alright, welcome to another edition of Foot on Film. This is uh, volume 9. There's a 5 here and there's 4 down here, so that's 9. Uh, this week we'll be talking about Youth in Revolt, which has Michael Cera. Uh, Rob Lowe is also in that one. Zach Galifianakis, if you know who that is. Uh, and this week I have with me a very special guest. Me. And he's going to be helping you talk about the film. Because, you know, the film's about split personality. So I figured I'd bring my split personality into it. So what do you think about this film, Split Personality? Is that right? Well, I don't know if I quite agree with that, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you about the film. The basic plot of the film is uh, Michael Sarah plays Nick Twisp, and he's trying to uh, he's trying to find out, or he's trying to obtain the girl of his dreams, which which I think everyone is trying to do in one small way or another. And to do this, he has to find a way to get kicked out of his own house so they can go and live with his father, who lives a lot closer. To his 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 love to be Sheenie, uh, than his mom does. So, in in in, in essence, uh, in an attempt to get to his the love of his life, his dream girl, uh, he tries to get kicked out of his house. Well, he can't do that on his own. He's a he's kind of a spindly little guy. Doesn't really get in anyone's way, you know. Uh, so he he creates an alternate persona, Francois, and he's everything that uh, Nick is not. He's brash. He's insensitive. He's a dick to everyone, ever. So, yeah, I mean, my alternate personality, I mean, just look at him. Yeah, right? I mean, not as much there. But, uh, as far as the, as the plot goes, I liked it. Uh, I, I liked the story the movie is based off the book, uh, off of a book. So, uh, I like that they kept it rated R. I'm very glad they kept it rated R. If they would have changed it, then if it would have been PG-13, you wouldn't have got that, that great style of writing that you get from a rated R film with the cursing and everything that just comes naturally. And all the subject matter they're talking about would have just been cut out. The movie would not have been the same. Michael Cera in rated R film, he does it perfectly. He does it just fine. I mean, you know, Superbad, also rated R, another one of his, his big hits, but, uh... He plays his character perfectly. It, it's so seamless, the transition from uh, Nick Twisp to Francois. You know, it is, uh, in some scenes, it's really hard to tell, you know, that, that they're both played by Michael Cera. It, I mean, it's, it's almost impossible. Uh, they do a great job visually. I mean, there's some special effects. They're not real big special effects. I mean, there's, a, there's an explosion in there somewhere, which was done very nicely. I mean... You don't, you know, they, they don't overdo the explosions, the special effects aren't overdone. It was a really great movie. As far as the other stuff goes, uh, the actors all did a great job. Rob Lowe's and there's Zach Galifianakis for the short time he's in the movie is great. Uh, the comedy, the humor in this movie I think is what will draw people to it. I mean, it's got that, that regular style humor that you don't see a lot of. And Zach Galifianakis is funny, you know, his little bit in the movie is funny. Uh, Rob Lowe plays, plays his character perfectly. Uh, so the humor in this movie is great. The actors did a great job. Overall, the story it was it was pretty good. Like I, I'm not like the story premise was okay. The, I mean the reason he went through the lengths of all the things that he did, uh, it, it falls apart a little for me. Just a little bit in the middle kind of falls apart. Uh, but it, it saved. I mean I liked the end of it. Uh, the whole thing was kind of it was really amusing, highly entertaining. It takes you on this like ride, you know, uh, of just re of just uh, these two characters, which are both played by Michael Sarah, that just keep going up and down and up and down, and you never know what's really gonna happen. He's being chased by the cops and everything, and it was a really good film. I enjoyed it. Uh, visually, I, I like all the things they did with the visuals. Uh, the humor I, I thought was brilliant. Uh, the way it was written, the the rated R. I like the fact that it was rated R. If this movie was rated PG-13, I don't think I would have gotten as much enjoyment out of it as I did. But as for a rating for this movie, I guess I would have to say go see it in theaters. I mean, we had to watch the 9:50 showing of this movie, and it was the only in defiance, and uh, it wasn't playing all through the day. It just the one time that night is the only time it was playing. So if you get a chance to catch it, catch it. If not, then grab it when it comes to DVD, to Blu-ray. You know, I don't really see the point of getting a, this on Blu-ray. You know, it's not visually stunning. But uh, there are some cool visuals. But I would say just get the DVD when it comes out. Just give it a rent. And if you like it, go out and buy it. 
But go watch this movie in theaters if you can, and I will be getting back to you with uh, the movies you need to go see, or the movies I will be uh, going and seeing soon. All right, next week, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing. I could be doing Book of Eli for you guys. You let me know if you want to see me do that. Uh, other great films that are out, you know, Avatar. Everyone's excited about Avatar. I went and saw Avatar. So you let me know what I want, what I should be doing, and I'll try my hardest. If I can't get it, I'll let you guys know, and you guys can pick from a list. Uh, your question for this week is, uh, how far would you go for the love of your life? What would you do? Would you create an alternate persona? Would you go blow up a building? What would you do? Let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time. When I was lost, I even found myself looking in the gun's direction.